and welcome back to the channel. I pray that you're blessed today. Today's video consists of a message that the Most High gave me, a prophetic word the Most High gave me a few months ago. And um, I wanted to post it here in its entirety. It's a very serious word that the Most High gave me concerning repentance and Yasharal. And that though we are um, looking, hoping to be gathered, our redemption is based on our repentance and turning to the Most High. And so it's a word just encouraging us to repent and to turn from sin, lest we find ourselves judged with the wicked. So share it if you feel led to do so. I'll listen to it, heed it, do whatever the Most High leads you to do after listening to this message. There are some things that the Most High wants to communicate to his people. And I feel like Jeremiah's like fire shut up in my bones and I must speak. So I want to caution that if you're easily offended, this video probably isn't for you and you may want to avoid it. Or maybe if you're easily offended, you need it. The Most High has been speaking to his people in their prayer times, in their prayer closets, during their Shabbat time, during Bible reading, scripture reading. And he's been telling his people to cry loud and spare not, to lift up their voice like a trumpet, and to repent. The word is repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Before Messiah began his ministry, John the Baptist took up a mantle of Elijah and the word was, repent, for the king is coming. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. The king is coming. The king is coming. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent. We, Israel, we need to repent. We are far too comfortable in this land, this Babylon, this Egypt. We are far too comfortable. We are like the Egyptians, we are like the Babylonians. We marry and we're giving in marriage. We buy, we sell. We go buy an oxen. We buy a lamb. We eat, we drink, we feast. There is no true repentance. There is no crying out for our sins. There is no weeping and wailing between the porch and the altar. There is no true coming to our Father in true sorrow for our sins and all that we've done. We hurt Him. We denied our Messiah. We hurt Him. And He will not lightly forgive us and wink at our sins and turn the other way. He will not. He requires true repentance. And until the cry until our cry reaches the ear of Yahuwah of Seboeth, he will not move on our behalf. Our men will continue to be killed in the streets, 13-year-olds and 11-year-olds and men and women brutalized. It will continue to happen and it will worsen because the father will see to it that his children cry out. We can do it willingly or he will allow our enemies to come and ravage us. We must cry out. We must cry out in repentance. We must cry out for our sins. We must leave Babylon, walk away from it. We must weep and wail and mourn in this land. We must not be comfortable here. We should not be thinking about buying property here and pick, making a living here. We, our focus should be repentance and being gathered. This is a land of captivity. It's not a land of joy. It's not a land of happiness. And we have much to repent for. We have sin in our hearts. We have secret sin. There are those who have come to a realization of who they are and they're still sinning. They're still fornicating. They're still looking at pornography. They're still doing the things that are displeasing in the Most High's sight. And I warn you, I caution you, repent. Repent. The hammer of the Most High is coming down. And he begins his judgment at the house of Yasharal. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Turn from your sins 
And I speak not only to you, I speak to myself as well. I preach to no one. I am part of the nation. We, we need to repent, true repentance, turning away from our sins. We need to stop this nonsense of backbiting and hurting one another and mistreating one another and acting as if we're not brethren. We're brothers and sisters. We're part of one another. And if you have the love of Messiah in your heart, you should be loving one another. And if you don't love one another, you have to ask yourself whether or not you're really in the faith, whether or not you really have the spirit of the Most High, Yah, living within you. He is not coming for a genetic ethnic group. He's coming for those who look like his son. And if you don't look like his son, you will not be gathered. Your portion will be with the wicked, your portion will be with the Gentiles, and you'll be judged with them. This is a warning from the Most High. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. He's gathering his children into his barn, and the tares are being burned. This is serious business. This is no time to get on YouTube and make fun videos and laugh and cut up like we've got all the time in the world. We don't. The time is drawing near, and those who are not gathered will be salted with fire. It will not be pretty. It will not be pleasant. I warn you, I warn myself. We must turn. We must turn from our wicked ways. We must repent, seek his face. We must repent. Daniel chapter nine, Nehemiah chapter nine. There are so many prayers of repentance in the scriptures, in the Psalms. Pray the Psalms, pray repentance, but more than anything, let yourself weep and wail before the Most High for our sins, the sins of our ancestors and the sins of today. Weep and wail and mourn and be sad and put on your sackcloth and your ashes and throw ashes upon your head and weep and wail until the Most High has no choice but to answer us. He said, give him no Give him no quarter. Worry him until he makes Jerusalem a praise in the earth. He told us to do that. We must be persistent. We must pursue him and pursue his salvation. This is a word of the Most High Yah. There's no time to waste. There's no time to lose. The dragon is wroth with the remnant of the woman's seed. That's us. These are the days of Esther. There's a Haman in the land, and he has built gallows 50 feet high. For those who are repentant and those who are in the Most High Yah, for them, Haman will hang on those gallows. But for those who are not, those who are playing around, playing games, thinking that they're going to leave America with their money in their bank and that the Most High isn't expecting holiness and righteousness, they're going to hang from those gallows. This is a warning in love. This is a warning. I urge you, turn, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Mm-hmm.